Welcome back to Intersectionality, Let's Get Real. Today we are interviewing our final contestant on this show, and that is my coworker and lovely friend, Reagan. What's up, Reagan? Hey, Jenny. So, <laughs> since you all know how this goes, you know what we do each time, we're gonna jump right in. Reagan, why don't you spin that wheel three times? Okay. Sexual, sexual orientation. orientation. The first Ew. time we've spun that one. Okay. I don't know how excited I get. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Next one. Your choice. Your choice. Cool. Yes. <laughs> this is our fun option of the identity wheel. So just keep thinking about what identity you can go with. It's going to okay. be any one of your choice. Okay. Why not spin cool. the second time or third time? It's on the knob. You're going to have to spin again. <laughs> you just I mean, full of surprises. Yes. Got to end it with a good one. <laughs> Gender. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, Reagan, do you need some time to think about which identity you want to choose for that third one, or do you know? Oh, I think I am going to do... So, I think I am going to choose race. Okay, so to reiterate, we had sexual orientation, race, and gender. So Reagan, tell me a little bit about how you navigate those identities in your daily life and how those intersect. Yeah, so um, I guess I'll start with sexual orientation. Um, I identify as heterosexual, so that in, in being that I hold a privileged identity when it has to do with sexual orientation. Um, and then next with gender, I identify as a cisgender woman. Um, so combined with being a straight cisgender woman, I also hold a whole lot of privilege in some ways. And finally with race, um, I do, I, t I don't hold the privileged racial identity but I do still think that I hold a powerful racial identity. Um, so being a straight, cisgender, black woman, um, that would be my intersection, and it's a, <laughs> a nice little mixture, I'll say. Um, so I guess one way that I like walk in life and walk my path, um, in some spaces, being a black woman, um, I don't think I get taken as seriously. Like people don't take me as serious as I would hope they would. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that I still um, I'm learning to be more comfortable with being in my own skin as a black woman. Um, but it can be hard in. 21st century America. Okay, Regan, so I have a follow-up question yeah. on those identities. My follow-up is kind of personal. Are you are you ready to go to that level? Let's I know I know we're there, but are we there? Whoever you all are? Let's do it, y'all. We're in this together. Okay, cool. So my question is, how do these three identities relate to your dating experience? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Well, I first want to say that right now my dating experience is non-existent. Um, <laughs> I'm really enjoying being That's still an experience. <laughs> I enjoy being single and the things I'm accomplishing, not by myself because I still have my friends and family around me, but um, I enjoy not having a relationship and a partner in that way. Um, but <laughs> in the past... I know being a woman for sure and dating men um, hasn't been that great, but it's also, I think about when I go out in public, if I were out in public with a man, like no one would think anything of it. Um, but let's say that I identified as bisexual or gay, then 
people would probably take a second look at me or in some circles it's romanticized if I were with a woman um, and tying in race <laughs> being black I guess something is I generally tend to date like other black people um, black men because it's what I'm comfortable with um, and I think it's kind of like me putting up a protective wall over myself and my family and um, yeah okay thank you Okay, so we're ready for our last part, which is the emotion wheel. Reagan, if you could just check this out. You're familiar with this. Uh, You've used this many yes. times with our youth. Please pick two to three different emotions you're feeling after doing this wheel experience with me. Cool. I love feelings. Um, uh, I would choose... Mm. See, I look at this all the time, but still I... There's a lot of different choices on there. Okay. All right. I'm not sure if this is this one's on here, um, but while I keep looking, I feel comfortable right now, um, and also, ooh, I feel eager. Yes. So I feel comfortable and eager. Um, these talking about the intersectional me is comfortable for me because I do it often. Um, I've never actually though thought about my gender, sexual orientation, and race, like those identities specifically together. So um, that's what makes me feel eager because I wanna continue these conversations. Awesome. Thank you so much, Reagan. Yeah. Let's do a final high five to end this oh. video series. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be excited because we have more videos coming your way on a different topic. So thank you so much, Reagan. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>